Hello students, today let us see a problem from the topic uh, Inference Theory for Statement Calculus in the subject Discrete Mathematics. Let, let me read the problem first. We are given uh, three premises P conditional, Q conditional, yes, that is the first premise. Negation RRP is the second premise. Q is the third premise. Based on these premises, we have to conclude a statement or conditional yes. Now look at the conclusion. The conclusion statement formula contains a conditional connective. When it contains a conditional connective, we can use a rule CP, conditional proof technique. So once again, I tell it again, the, when the conclusion itself contains a conditional connective, we shall use rule CP. <clears throat> what is the rule CP? Suppose we are having n premises and the conclusion itself is of the form C1 conditional C2. For proving this statement, it is enough to prove what you do is just take the given n premises as it is. Along with this n premises, you take the left hand side of the conclusion as an additional premise. C1, you take it as an additional premise. Now, when these n plus 1 premises are combined, we will get the right hand side of the conditional connective, right hand side of the conclusion. Right? So, this is rule CP. This is what enough to prove for proving the original problem. So, when we apply this one, you look at that. We are given three premises. R conditional yes is the conclusion we need to prove. Now, what we are enough to prove is just take the three premises given as it is. Along with this, you take the left hand side of the conditional connective. The conclusion you take it. That is R you take it. And we should conclude the right hand side. Yes. This is what we are we are enough to prove. So this is by rule CP. So R is the additional premise we have taken here. So look at here. I start the pro proof in this way. I just split the solutions in four columns. First column for step. Second column for statement formula. Third column for rule. Fourth for column for justification. Step one. I take the simplest premise without any connective if possible. So this one first one is having connective leave it. Second one is having connective leave it. Third one Q and the uh, uh, variable R statement formula. Fourth one are the simple connectives. Now we shall start the proof either with the Q or with R. But I don't want to start the proof with the Q. The reason is the other statement formula that involves Q is much more complicated. So I avoid taking Q here. So I start the proof with R. So R is the additional premise. This additional premise is guaranteed by rule CP. So first I take R by rule CP as an additional premise. Now let me take the next premise that contains R. Negation RRP is the next premise. So let me take it that premise. This is taken, this is introduced by rule P. So I don't need to justify anything. Now when I combine these two, so since we are having a disjunction R connective, we shall use the disjunctive syllogism. What is this disjunctive syllogism? If we are having a disjunctive connective of two statement formulas and negation of any one of the formula, either P or Q, negation of any one of the formula, we will get the other formula as a conclusion. So here we are having negation RRP and negation of this statement formula. Negation of negation R is R we are having. So we should get the other formula P as the conclusion. So this is obtained by rule T when we combine step 1 and step 2 using distinctive syllogism. Now let me introduce next premise that involves P. So P conditional, Q conditional, yes, is the next premise that involves P. So this is being introduced by rule P. So we need not justify anything. Next one, 
when i combine these two premises p and p conditional q conditional s yes. this is this can be combined by mod exponent since we are having conditional connective when we are having conditional connective we shall apply mod exponents or mod exponents if we have the left hand side by mod exponents negation of the right hand side we can use the mod exponents so here p conditional q conditional s yes. p is the left hand side we are having so let us use mod exponents when we use mod exponents the right hand side we will get the conclusion so this q condition s yes, is the derived formula by rule t now when we use rule t we have to justify so we have combined the statement formulas in 3 and 4 uh, using mod exponents now let us use a statement let us introduce a statement formula that involves either q or s so we are having a statement formula that involves q so let me introduce that formula this is so q is being introduced by rule p that need no justification now when i combine these two statement formula since we are having conditional connective we shall use either mod exponents or mod exponents when we have the left hand side we shall use the mod exponents so q conditional s yes, we are having q the left hand side so we shall use the mod exponents when we use the mod exponents we will get the right hand side the formula s yes, we will have so s yes is the formula derived using rule t when we combine the statement formulas in step 5 and step 6 using mod exponents so this is the proof for the original problem let us see another problem in the next video thank you